I think for sure, like, um, even like my dad, like my dad for sure, they kind of like have like this tough love with me, you know what I mean? So I've always, even like my whole life, of course I know like my dad is um, very proud of me, but he's never been like one to always like compliment me or to tell me like, hey, you know, you're doing good, you're training good, you know, or anything, nothing like that, you know? They were, I've always been like, oh, you know, looking kind of for approval and it's always been like, okay, well, you need to get better at this, you need to get better at that, you know? So always like striving to be better and better and better and better. So I think just to have them kind of push me to be the best, you know, not like it's never enough, you know, and not in a bad way, but they always know that I can be better and better and better. So I think that's kind of what I always have in my mind. Um, not that I could be better than Gabby, but it's not something that's impossible, you know? So that's always the mindset I always took with me is that like nothing's impossible, you know? Like if I want, if I want to do it, I can do it, you know? I just have to keep, persisting and persisting so for, for sure I think it's just growing up um, you know I'm the only child uh, daddy's girl having you know a tough tough dad with me and always pushing me to to be the best I can be maybe I could count on my fingers how many times I've trained with my dad and haven't left the round like crying you know he's so tough on me uh, when we roll you know and it's not like he's not hurting me but man it's like fighting Gabby is nothing compared to rolling with my dad, you know, and that's something that I have to go through every day, <laughs> you know, since I've been like, you know, blue belt, you know, he just is so, so tough on me and doesn't really let me do like anything training, you know, I'm not even like one advantage he doesn't let me do, you know, so it's really like, if you, if you don't know what it feels like to be on bottom, you know, it's like, man, I'm going to compete. I went to fight Metamorphs against Michelle Nicolini um, and was just a mission only, you know, and 20 minutes. And so I did like, it was two days before the event and I was training with just with my dad, like me and my dad and we were training together and we did maybe like four or five rounds of 20 minutes and literally every round he submitted me so many times. I didn't do anything, anything. And I was crying and like, man, how am I going to compete a tournament submission only when I can't do anything? Like I can't even sleep. I can't even protect myself, you know? So it's like stuff like that, that it's, you know, for sure nothing that I'm going to encounter in the competition scene against any woman that I'm going to fight is going to be worse than what my dad has put me through, you know, and not in a bad way, but in a good way, you know, to toughen me up. So he's, he's pretty crazy. He's hardcore, you know, even like the ADCC, I just won the ADCC was like, I won the world championships, the world pro in Abu Dhabi, the ADCC. And I went to ask my dad, I'm like, Hey dad, you know, like, are you proud of me? He's like, Oh, so, so, you know, you got to get more. I was like, man, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, it's just always looking for more, and uh, I think he pushes me to my limits, and that's what I need to be, you know, is get pushed to my limits as much as possible. Uh, I started learning jiu-jitsu when I was three. Uh, my first tournament was when I was six years old, you know. And, I mean, of course, I they let me play, like, basketball, volleyball, softball, like, in elementary school. Um, but as long as it didn't get away of jiu-jitsu, you know, uh, then I could do it, you know. And it was just... You know, all those sports are just seasons, you know, like you have softball season that's, I don't know, like a couple months. You know, jiu-jitsu is always all year round. And and those things were a little bit more social, you know, to do with my friends at school, you know, um, just to be involved. But, uh, yeah, I could I could always do anything as long as practice ended before practice of jiu-jitsu, you know, started. And um, so they never forced me to do anything. It was always something I loved to do. Um, they never forced me to compete or anything like that. It was always something that... Uh, it was always very fun for me and to be involved with the jiu-jitsu community.